Hi everyone, this is Joan Ryan Singh. Uh, this is a re-recording of the professional update from Thursday, the 3rd of October. I had a technical issue with the recording, so I'm just doing the session again. Um, thank you for attending, uh, if you were there in person. Um, and if you weren't, thank you for, for watching this catch up. Hopefully you find it helpful. If you've got any questions, feel free to uh, get in touch with me. But we're going to start with what's new with Toby Dynavox for autumn of 2024. We've had a lot of exciting updates. And today I'm gonna to be running through uh, some of the hardware updates specifically, um, but we have had updates to software and resources as well. So what we're gonna focus on today is uh, the exciting updates with regard to our new touch and multi-access portfolio, which is um, four new devices, three Toby Dynavox Navios, and uh, the new Toby Dynavox i110. With that, we've had some changes to warranties uh, and also accessories, which we're gonna look at in more detail. We've also had some very slick updates to the TD suite on the i series. So that's TD Talk, phone and browse. Um, so if you are um, familiar with the i series and you wanna find out more, uh, just get in touch with us. Um, and TD Snaps had some big updates, uh, one in the summer uh, and one at the start of October. And uh, in fact, the next professional update we're going to do is going to be on those TD Snap updates. And then in regards to resources, we're always updating our learning hub and we've got some excellent resources on there uh, that you can share with professionals and teachers in schools uh, with regard to helping implement AAC in the uh, school environment. We've also got some uh, live events and trainings and a winter conference with some really interesting topics being covered, uh, including uh, AAC and CVI. So I definitely recommend keeping an eye on our website and our uh, newsletters uh, in case any of those are going to be helpful for you. And before we jump into the latest devices, uh, something else that we've worked on uh, that is had some really interesting results that I definitely recommend looking into is the health and economic study with regards to communication aids and AAC that we commissioned. Um, this is available as a PDF and we can send this out to people if it'd be helpful. Um, but if you search for it on our website, we also have a full link to the study. Um, but essentially uh, some of the highlights that are worth noting from here. Uh, one of the big ones is regard to user benefits from having an AAC device uh, and that the uh, improvement to quality of life is doubled when uh, an AAC device is implemented and, and used for uh, five years or more. Um, and then another interesting point within here uh, is the return on investment for AAC dedicated devices uh, and that actually uh, the cost for um, funding a device for an individual, uh, over that five-year period, you actually get a three-time return on investment. Uh, so uh, that's obviously with regards to uh, reducing costs elsewhere by giving somebody a voice. Uh, the, the money that you save is three times more than what's spent on implementing the device. So some really interesting stuff in there. As I say, we have this as a PDF, but you can also uh, download the study from our website. I mentioned the TD Snap updates. So uh, the latest was 1.34. Uh, Debbie is going to be running the next update on Thursday, the 17th of October. So I definitely recommend uh, joining. Um, we've got some new feature updates in there, some really nice stuff with regard to editing symbols. Uh, but the big update is a new vocabulary called TD Snap. Debbie's going to cover this in more detail, so uh, I won't go into it too much. But we have had a lot of requests for a simple vocabulary that's easy to navigate and that combines core language with your fringe vocabulary on the same page. Um, and so that's that's what we've got here with TD Snap. And there's a number of benefits. As I say, uh, I'll, I'll let Debbie explain those on the next update. But today my focus is on the new touch and multi-access portfolio. For those that don't know me, I'm Joan Ryan Singh. I'm an account manager for Toby Dynavox based in Manchester. And one of the key focuses for us whenever we're launching new devices is considering what's important in a dedicated AAC device. Um, and when we're talking about importance, we're considering obviously the user, 
um, but also professionals and caregiver supporting that user. Um, and whenever we're thinking about what's important, one of the key things we do is take feedback from you guys, from professionals, from users, from uh, families, caregivers, uh, those supporting AAC users. So I thought I'd start with a couple of examples of things that we've had fed back to us before. Um, so previously, with regard to the speech cases, really nice slick cases for the um, iPad. And uh, although they were nice and light and portable, one of the things that we were, were fed back is, yeah, that's nice, but they're not portable enough. It'd be great if we had, for instance, in, in the smaller devices, uh, handles built in to make them easier to carry and make them more ergonomic. Um, and then for the larger size devices, A, we want them available because we want to be able to mount multi-access devices with larger screens that make it easier for those with visual impairments or who are using alternate access methods. We also had fed back that, you know, an AAC device is someone's voice and it's part of their personality and that it'd be great if they could show that by being able to personalize the device and uh, have different colors available. There's then also the flexibility of being able to use the device in lots of different environments and situations and the importance of them being able to be mounted. Uh, so, you know, all sizes of devices with all access methods, being able to be mounted on different mounting systems um, and also be able to kind of use impromptu by, by putting them down on tables, surfaces, uh, at the breakfast table, etc. With regard back to the portability, uh, one of the points that gets brought up often is having uh, durable, secure uh, straps available to make them easier to carry. If your voice is going to be with you all day, you want something comfortable to be able to keep it uh, with you at all times. And then key guards is an interesting one because we want them to be super secure so that they, they're not getting pulled off the device or falling off or moving. Uh, but at the same time, they need to be really secure. Um, so yeah, sorry, they need to be really secure, but also we want to be able to get them off quickly, uh, especially for assessment purposes. If we're trying different grid sizes, we're going to have to change the key guard multiple times and we don't want that to be a massive faff or effort. So there's an interesting balance to get there between security of the key guard, uh, but the ease of getting it on and off at the same time. And so with those things considered, I'd like to introduce you to, as I say, the latest portfolio of Toby Dynavox multi-access devices. We're going to go through these, uh, starting with the TD Navio, which is the iOS um, operating system option. And then the new TDI 110, which has had some really nice updates to it, but is our um, Windows-based multi-access option. So there is a choice there now if there's any preferences with regard to operating systems. And so the TD Navio comes in three sizes. We have the TD Mini, which as you can see is super light. It's 0.86 uh, of a kilogram in terms of weight. Nice, sleek, small screen, 8.3 inch screen. We've then got the MIDI, which is a 10.9 inch screen, and then the Maxi. So as I say, um, still nice and portable, but this is um, you know, a great option if the device needs to be mounted to a wheelchair, for instance, and we're using switch access or head mice. Uh, but we'll come back to accessories later, but that's the 13 inch screen option. You can see they've all got the, the handle and the speakers and everything all built into the device. So this is a side profile view of the Navio. Um, one of the key focuses we have is that we don't want this to uh, look too much like um, kind of a mainstream off the shelf tablet uh, because it is an AAC device. So we don't want it to look as though it's, you know, a standard tablet that's used for playing media. But at the same time, we do want to balance that in that we don't want a big bulky device that's super obvious. We do still want it to look slick. We still still want it to be ergonomic, um, uh, lightweight and easy to carry. So we think we found a really nice balance with the Navio with that regard. It's distinct enough to separate it from a standard mainstream tablet without being super overt and bulky. So you can see it here from the front, as I mentioned before, we've got the handle built in 
to the device. We've got, as always, with Toby Dynavox devices, really powerful, loud, clear speakers that stay clear even when the volume's turned up high. The volume buttons are, are there and available. We've got a front-facing camera on there. Um, and on the back, oh, and uh, I'll come back to the speakers again, actually, because you might notice that they're at a, a different angle to other devices we've done previously. Um, we, we've historically had the speakers mounted kind of directly on the back of the device facing forward. And you'll see these are kind of at a different angle, but I'll come back to that. And then this is the view from the back. So you can see you've got the option to put your mount plate on there and we'll come back to mounting options later on. But then you've got your forward facing camera, um, the foldable leg or the kickstand and the option to uh, attach the carry straps that I mentioned earlier as well. It's worth pointing out with this kickstand or foldable leg, it's super robust and it allows you to put the device at pretty much any angle from vertical down to lying flat. So that's vertical on a desk. Um, so the variability in the angle is massive, but also the durability at any of those angles is also really good. So I've tested this myself and you can apply a lot of pressure to the device um, when it's sat on a desk with the kickstand at various angles and it doesn't slide across the desk and the um, leg doesn't fold in on itself. It keeps the device nice and sturdy, even with a lot of pressure applied to the screen of the device. There's also on the MIDI and Maxi um, a bit of space on the back if you want to do some additional personalization as well. So coming back to the speakers, I mentioned before that we've got these at a different angle to what we've had on previous devices. And um, that's come from a lot of uh, studying essentially um, and a lot of research into what the optimal angle is for a device like this where there's lots of different environments and situations where the device might be used and we want to be able to optimize the speakers so that they're going to work well regardless of the user's position so whether they're walking around talking face to face with someone sat down using the kickstand with it on their um, desk whether it's mounted to their chair whether they're lying on the floor we want the speakers to be loud and project the voice forward to the communication partner regardless of what the position is. Um, and the new angles so at the top of the device, but facing forward helps us accommodate that. You can hopefully see here how sleek the device is um, and how easy it is to transport. It is nice and light and easy to use. Um, the handle is obviously great for the user to be able to carry it, but it's also really nice for the communication partner in terms of helping with modeling. Um, I've seen this used where the communication partner's got the device in the palm of the hand with their fingers facing upwards coming through the handle to help secure it and, and model with the, with the person that they're working with. Really easy position, as I say, especially with the flexible and robust kickstand. Um, and uh, even works nicely kind of sat on, on an individual's lap. Here's a view from the side. We've got two switch ports available. So as I say, this is a multi-access device. So you can add um, up to two switches. You can also add um, head mice and other mice um, and joysticks. The power button's on there and we've got the option for an audio jack on there as well, which I'll also come back to. Um, with regard to the power button, you just turn the device on and it's plug and play. So there is no um, connecting you know, anything via Bluetooth. Um, and you'll notice there's just one charger on here. You're not having to charge multiple elements of the device. It is a dedicated AAC device. So just one charger, turn it on and it's plug and play. You can see here, we've got protective cases available for the device as well. Um, and this is where, um, again, feedbacks come in in terms of customization. So the, the, the protective case is obviously going to make the, the device uh, even more robust, but we have got a choice available as well in terms of colors for these cases. So as I mentioned earlier, the device can uh, hopefully um, express the user's personality as, as well as their voice. Um, so these are the different color cases available. We've got blue, purple and pink, and then the standard gray. The device comes in a really nice new carry case. Um, funnily enough, when I show 
the device to people, one of the first things they say is how nice the case is for it, uh, which is which, which I find funny. But it is slick. Um, it means we're not having to ship a load of um, extra cardboard and other waste out to users as well. You get one cardboard box as your, your case in it, and then everything you need for the device is inside. So your carry straps, your charger, your protective case, etc. And as I say, that you just take it out of the case, turn it on, and you, you're good to go. There's no setup required. Um, because our communication software is uh, ready installed on there. So TD Snap, uh, the perpetual version is installed and ready to use. And so is TD Talk. If you're not familiar with our communication software, TD Snap is our um, AAC software to support those using symbols, although there are other vocabularies available for text-based users and those with aphasia. Um, but it's best known for our symbol vocabularies like core first, and motor planning as i mentioned we've just added a, a new one to it as well with td express so it's a really flexible robust and easy to edit piece of software with lots of different um kind of layouts available lots of different languages available we've got bilingual page sets available page sets that are optimized for those using switch scanning so yeah really nice easy to use bit of software and then td talk is for our literate users or keyboard users um Again, really easy to use, implement, and um, add your own phrases to make communication more efficient and lots and lots of languages in there. It's worth noting as well that uh, with the Navio, you get two companion licenses. Uh, they're obviously for um, modeling, for instance, or if you want to do any remote editing. Um, and so they can be put onto uh, two other devices, which need to be the Windows or iPad based. So one of the key things with an AAC device is if it's somebody's voice, we need peace of mind that it's going to be reliable and available for them. So with the Navio, we have got additional screen protection on there. We have got additional um, durability built into the case, along with the protective case that can be added. We've got a nice IP rating on there, so you've not got to worry if you're out and about, um, about you know bits of dust or sand, or uh, if it starts to rain, the device breaking. And then this one's key. I'm going to go into more detail on this, but all of our devices now, dedicated devices, so that's the Navios, the TDI-110, the TD Pilot, which is our eye tracking option on iOS, mm -hmm. and the i series, both the 13 and 16 inch devices, uh, which are our eye tracking options uh, for Windows, all come with five years of uh, Toby Dynavox Care as standard, um, which is massive. And I'll go into some more details about that here. So, as I say, uh, built into the cost of all those devices is five uh, years of Toby Dynavox Care. So that's our kind of special warranty. That covers unlimited accidental damage claims on your device. So once you have a Navio, for instance, for five years from the point of purchase, if anything happens to that device, you have peace of mind that you can send it to us and it will get repaired for free. Um, it also covers any defects in materials or workmanship. Um, it means that you've got a dedicated support team on hand as well, um, and they can be contacted uh, via the website, via phone, or via email. And as I mentioned earlier, it applies to all of our um, dedicated AAC devices. Another thing that's worth noting is that we're also able to provide loan devices whilst we fix yours for free. Now, it might not always be an exact like-for-like -like swap out, but it will mean that the user uh, has their voice and doesn't go without their voice whilst their device is fixed. So if anything does happen to the device, we pick it up for free. We fix it for free, but before we pick it up, we send you a loan device so that you've got your voice back. Um, we then fix yours, send it back to you, and then we ship the loaner back to us. So uh, this is um, this is something we've been working really hard on, and we're actually going to have a loan of bank, uh, a loan of devices in a bank at the Sheffield office, so we can get them out really quickly to people. So yeah, we think this is massive. Um, as I mentioned, peace of mind is a big thing if you're relying on your device for your voice and access to the world. Um, the fact that you've got kind of peace of mind for five years that your device is going to work, and we're going to be there to support it is is huge. We think.
So as I mentioned, the TD Mini is the smaller, lighter TD Navio option, but you are able to um, use alternate access. We've got key guards for the various vocabularies available. You can mount it and it does have two switch ports and the cost of that is £2,495. Same with the MIDI, um, same price as well, 2495 but we do have a really nice head mouse option and mounting bracket available on the MIDI. Uh, MIDI sorry. Uh, and same again with the Maxi, this is the larger one that's um, great for alternate access, uh, and if you're, you're mounting the device to a wheelchair, again, very nice setup for head mouse, and that's 2995 so if you bear in mind the TD care that, that comes with this, it's essentially around £500 a year for your dedicated device where you know you're going to have your voice um, for that five-year period. So it works out about £40 a month, essentially, um, for a dedicated AAC device over that five-year period at this cost. And uh, if you think back to the AAC and economic study that I mentioned earlier, um, that £40 a month... Um, over the five-year period, because in the study, um, all the benefits came once, you know, uh, the, the device is implemented and has become part of somebody's kind of lifestyle. Uh, over that five-year period, the return on investment, as I say, triples. So um, it's excellent for kind of um, devices not ending up back on shelves um, and, and being obsolete once uh, TD Snap or TD Talk has been determined to be a, a good match for an individual in terms of their vocabulary, uh, because we do have some excellent uh, options to be able to trial software. Um, so if you're not already aware, we have a, a Toby Dynamox for Professionals option, which means that anyone supporting AAC users is eligible for a free version of TD Snap so that they can trial it with them. We also have TD Snap for Schools, which grants schools copies of TD Snap for free so they can put them on their interactive whiteboards to enable modeling in the classroom. We've also got free trials of TD Snap available if people want to try it on their own iPads or Windows devices. And then we have a subscription option as well. So if someone wants to trial TD Snap over a longer period, it's $9.99 a month on the subscription for them to just put it on their own iPad to check and really make sure that it's the right vocabulary for them. So with that said, um, we've got lots of options to make sure the vocabulary is correct. Um, and if TD Snap or TD Talk is, is the best match for somebody in terms of vocabulary, um, we'd then be pointing them to a dedicated device like this where we know this is the right vocab for you. This is going to be your voice going forward. Uh, and with one of these devices, you kind of guaranteed your voice for five years, which we think is really exciting. As I mentioned, these are multi-access devices. So we have key guards available for the various vocabularies. You can use switch scanning, uh, and we have got options for head mice, joysticks, etc. I mentioned earlier about the balance with a key guard with regard to having it nice and secure and fitting flush with the device, um, but also being able to change it quickly and easily for assessment purposes. And so it's so a quick video here, just demonstrating that on the TD Navio. So hopefully you can see there, really easy to get on and off, but once it's on, it stays on. I'll quickly touch on the, the switch and the mouse access here. Um, as I mentioned, you've got two switch ports on the side. If you're using TD Snap, then it's literally just plug and play. So you would set your access method to scanning um, in TD Snap along with the scanning pattern that you want. Plug your switches in and it will just work. Same with the head mouse, you're just set to TD Snap Mouse Dwell and you're good to go. If you are wanting to access the iOS environment, then you would need to set that up within the iOS accessibility settings. But in terms of using TD Snap, it's just plug and play, which is really nice and easy to implement. For those that are using scanning, you 
have got the option in TD Snap under access methods to have audio feedback. Um, so we have included the audio jack in the uh, device so that you can plug headphones in so that the user is hearing the options when it's scanning. And then obviously when they make a selection, the um, word or words they've chosen are projected from the, the device. There's Rayadat and Daisy mounting options for all three sizes of the TD Navio. For the Mini, we have a reversible mount plate that you can see here. Um, with regard to part numbers, etc. by the way, we do have a easy price list for all three devices and all accessories for them. So if you need part numbers for ordering um, devices or accessories, just let us know, we can send you the easy price list. So you can see we've got them here for the reversible plate. And then on the Mini and the Maxi, we have uh, different plates available, whether you mount into Ray Adapt or Daisy. So if we go back to the start with regard to things that we have had fed back to us that are really important for a dedicated AAC device. Uh, we mentioned being able to personalize the device, having a robust kickstand and being able to use the device in various um, environments, a robust shoulder strap that makes it comfortable and easy to carry, being able to mount it on various wheelchairs or other mounts. We want a good battery life because obviously if this is your voice, you want it to last you as long as possible. You don't want to run out and then not be able to communicate. Um, so with regard to the Navio, the, uh, the kind of runtime for standard use is 18 hours, which we're really impressed with. It's worth noting uh, because, you know, companies can often cite um, the battery length or battery time of a device but it is dependent on settings and how the device is used. But just to give you some context, um, we advise that the device is set to 75% screen brightness mm. to optimize the battery life. So when you receive a Navio, it will be set to 75% as standard. Uh, and with that, and with average use, as I say, we're at an 18 hour runtime. Um, we have done extreme testing as well though, just as I say, to give you some context. And so with the screen at 75%, if we, when we just run uh, media through YouTube, for instance, non-stop without any idle time or lock screen on the device. On the Mini and the Maxi, uh, sorry, the Mini and the MIDI, we're getting 13 hours battery life. And on the Maxi, we're getting eight. So that's with constant media playing through the device. So we're super confident that, you know, using it for communication and for the bit of media, you're going to get a full day's use out of it, um, which is super important. Obviously with an AAC device, the sound output's important. You want the sound to be crisp and clear and be able to heard in loud environments, whether that's classroom that's busy or the pub, um, and we, we have that. We want the device to be nice and lightweight and ergonomic, which I think we've achieved with the Navio. We have multiple vocabularies to suit multiple needs built within TD Snap and TD Talk. We've got the device available at different sizes, depending on the individual and their access method key guards available for the various vocabularies, different access methods, simple to charge. So just one plug that you can plug in um, to charge the device, companion licenses so we can enable modeling and implementation, a really reliable and extensive warranty to give you peace of mind, along with robustness of the device and uh, inbuilt, inbuilt carry handles to make it easy to carry. So as I say, with, with that, we're super excited uh, with the TD Navio and we hope you are too. Um, but if you want to see it or try it with anyone, then do reach out to myself or, or your account manager or the office and we can help with that. Which brings us to the TDI 110. So as I say, this is our multi-access option for Windows devices. You may well have seen i110s out there before or be familiar with them this is actually the third iteration of the i110 so it's the third time we've improved it it's a really a popular device but we're always looking to uh, improve our offerings um just in comparison to the navio as i say this is the windows operating system as opposed to ios a couple of differences are that we don't have this available in different colors and sizes it is just the one size available on here um, but it does have a kickstand, your shoulder straps, mounting, battery, um, everything listed here, essentially, other than different colors and different sizes. So we do have key guards available, uh, along with other access methods like a head mouse. 
Um, and as I mentioned earlier, the new warranty covers all dedicated devices, which includes the new, the new i one ten. So this is what the device looks like from the front. So this is uh, without and with the protective case. It's a 10.1 inch screen and it's 1.3 kilogram. Um, Oh, if I go back to here, sorry, one of the one of the other things with this is that it is super robust. So although we don't have different colors and sizes available, um, one of the benefits of the TDI 110 is that it is essentially we've, we've built it with a crash case inside it um, and we've improved on that over the three iterations. So it's even more robust than ever. It's got Gorilla Glass um, to protect the screen. So if you know the device might uh, might take some knocks, this is definitely uh, one of the considerations I'd take as to why you might look at an i110 as opposed to a Navio. So they both have their, their pros and cons. Um, but as with the Navio, you, you're still covered for five years if anything were happen, to happen to the device. But like with the Navio, you've got... Um, your uh, screen. We've also improved the screen here, which is an important one. So it's much more responsive than the previous iterations. But yeah, you've got your volume buttons, front camera, power button, um, and your Windows Home button on the front. You can, we do have options to turn the Windows Home button off. So if you want to have the device just locked into AAC software, for instance, you can deactivate the Home button. And similarly to the Navio on the back, we've got great speakers, forward facing camera, the ability to mount robust kickstand and the option to add a carry strap. Um, one of the other things that differentiates this from the Navio though is that we do have environmental remote control built into the device. So again, if you're looking at environmental control, EC via infrared, then this might be the way to go. If you're looking at, you know, environmental control through say the Google Assistant that we've got built into TD Snap, this would work, but obviously that would work on the, the Navio as well. Um, so yeah, it's just something else to bear in mind when you're thinking about the two devices and the differences between the hardware and the operating system. But again, like with the Navio, the i110 has two switch ports available. It has that audio jack available for uh, private audio for auditory scanning or listening to music. Um, you've got a single USB-C power charger and then you've got the USB 3 uh, connection available there as well for head mouse, for example. And again, out the box, ready to use, software installed, and it comes in a, a nice new protective case. Uh, the cost of the TDI 110, by the way, is £3,200. And again, we have an easy price list for that with all accessories and part numbers listed. So with that, I hope you found that interesting. As I say, we have the new TD Navio in three sizes and the latest updated version of the TDI 110. Ah. It would have also been helpful for me to touch on some of the other improvements we've made to the i110 here. So we've uh, we've doubled the CPU, by the way. So it's just going to run much smoother and quicker than the previous models. And we've also improved on uh, the battery life as well. And I mentioned earlier, it's, it's obviously uh, much more robust than the previous version because of improvements we've made internally to the protective crash case. Um, but yeah, with that, thank you very much. If you have any questions, feel free to uh, reach out to myself or the office. Um, and as I say, we'd love to bring these devices out for you to see or to try with your clients. Thank you very much.